once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Not Mac Marla. She left us. She's over in Scott's Guard. Killing it there. And I think she'll probably be getting her attack in a little bit later on after she's received some direction. However, you're with the last outlaws. We are in war against a fairly stout... We don't need any direction. It's already a perfect war. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, that's really good. Um, we are up against a very tough alliance. We're having some difficulties, um, but we're going to do the best that we can. I think I'm going to go and try and clean up uh, LB's attack here. That's scary, because LB's a very, very stout attacker. So for me to say I'm cleaning up for him is, uh, it's scary, to say the least. However, I am fairly excited because this base appears to be fairly wide open. Uh, our drop point is going to be up here. I only need a single sabotage right there in order to get these buildings right here. So that's the concept, uh, is that I sabotage there. I am using two demolitions. I don't know. Uh, we're going to call them DEs. So, I'm using two demolitions in order to get rid of that. I've got my Mongols level 2, uh, and as well, my demos are level 3. They just finished today. Uh, I have with me, or I am, I am bringing with me uh, Betrayal. Hopefully I can get that one. So after that, drop point there. The intention, I'm hoping that I can rally right in this corner in order to actually nail, uh, well, a fair chunk of these. And it does put me just outside of range of this mortar here. Uh, I've calculated that out, and I believe it's right about there. So in a worst case scenario, I can actually pop into this cell here if I need to. Um, but immediately thereafter, the plan, I believe, is going to be just to eat away at this side and work my way down. Um, let's see. He has got, what level Indians does he have? Two, two, two. So, he does have level one Indians, which gives him some extra town center health and some extra wall health as well, 15% and 30%. So the town center will take a little bit longer to fall, um, but hopefully we're able to get in there and get it done. Get her done. Now, let's see. We're going to go with Napoleon and... I think Napoleon for the range and Alexander for the hit points. Uh, and why am I missing a tactic? How am I missing a tactic? Oh, my sabotage is... How has my sabotage disappeared? I was positive that I did have it. Uh, and of course... Uh, I love disappearing sabotages. Alright. So, you'll notice that I'm mixing it up a little bit. <clears throat> we have got uh, my three triplanes, four shock infantry, 29 riflemen, Two heavy tanks, three supply trucks, seven artillery, two heavy gats, mercs. I'm going with the Gurkhas and uh, let's go with shorts and dress pants. Tactics. I've got my two demos, one protect, one betrayal, one sabotage. Uh, I've also got my blitzkrieg that I will probably drop after the falling of the TC. Generals, like I said, we're going with Napoleon and Alexander. Alexander is the second highest hit points uh, for a melee general. Uh, Alliance troops. I've got two howitzers and six little black watch. So, without further ado, let's see how we do. Please enjoy the top of my head while we attack. So, I think if I'm able to get right there and then we can 
just go. There it is. Uh, let's see. We'll throw down our Blitzkrieg. Oh, I want you to fight for me. Let's zoom right out. short on planes. I want to keep my troops together. Um, I think I would like to see some of these things fall in the very, very middle. Um, but a minute thereafter, I do actually want to get out of there. Here comes another big tank. Can we get you guys to come out here, please? Get out of there! Hopefully I can hang on to that one tank that I've got long enough to actually help out, or continue to help out. The majority of his larger resources are gone. I've got about a minute 18 here. Um, so, oh, of course you guys have got to be foolish, don't you? Get out of there. Run away, run away! Let's see how this works. And of course, my troops just aren't behaving the way that I would like them to. I don't think we're going to be able to make it through here. Um, unfortunately. 30 seconds. That gives me about one more rally here. And with all my planes to actually keep my troops moving in the right direction, I think it's going to be difficult. But we're going to try and see if we can't be sneaky. Sacrifice the... Sacrifice the troops and try our best to ignore stuff. No, just not happening. So it was close. I think the fallacy really, uh, on my behalf, was just a couple of, I think maybe one bad rally. Um, my troops really did want to try and cut into the middle with that Versailles, uh, which obviously was extremely unhelpful. So we've got four... Four stars, 90-some percent, I think. Let's see. Yeah, 95 percent. I really, maybe I should have had a few more guys for cleanup there. Um, maybe my plane usage was a little bit off. But I feel I did the best that I could, uh, given that this gentleman is, oh, what is he, a 167 British Global. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the like and subscribe down below if you did. Uh, and as always, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.